welcome back, Bane with My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today I wanted to give you an update on my pitcher plants that I bought back at Bugfest. So it's been like, I think about two months now since Bugfest, since I purchased these pitcher plants. And I kind of started, I kind of started a little experiment with them because they have to be kept in water. The plants have to be kept moist at all times. You don't want them to dry out unless they are dormant. So I thought I would start a fun experiment with this because I didn't want just stagnant water sitting out on my front porch. So I decided to sort of experiment with things. Now these plants, you don't really want getting a bunch of fertilizer in them. I have been keeping them in a large tub out on my front out by my front porch and I actually put in some aquatic plants in that water to help keep the water cleaner and to help absorb any sort of nitrates that might get into the water in between me changing out the water and I also added some guppies and algae eaters in the water to help keep that whole area clean and algae free so that I don't have a nasty plant holder and the guppies are to make sure that I don't end up like creating a large mosquito population in my neighborhood because I'm sure my neighbors would really appreciate it if uh, I had a bunch of stagnant water sitting around and uh, a mosquito breeding ground. So I did go ahead and put guppies in there and I have two algae eaters to make sure that I don't have a bunch of algae forming in the I don't want to say tank it's not a tank but it's not really a pond either I don't even know what to call it right now I guess it's kind of a pond but there's no filter on it there's nothing like that it's just kind of an experiment but strangely I've had this set up for about two months now and I have not lost a single fish and my pitcher plant is seems to be flourishing because it is popping out new pitchers like left and right between the two pitcher plants I have about 18 new pitchers. There's like 10 new pitchers on one plant and about eight new pitchers on the other. So that's a lot of new pitchers and that tells me that my plant seems to be doing really well with this little system that I have going on. I'm doing water changes on the container about once a week just to keep the water, again, keep it clean and try and keep it as free of nitrates as possible because this is not a plant that you want getting a lot of fertilizer in it. These plants get their nitrates from consuming insects unlike other plants that get their nutrients from the soil or from the water. So it's been kind of a fun, interesting little side project that I've had going on, um, trying to kind of create, almost like create this little ecosystem going on outside. And again, I don't have a filter on it. It's, I guess maybe it is like a tiny little pond but I don't really consider it necessarily a pond. I do want to eventually build an actual pond, but right now I don't have the means to do that at the moment, but here's hoping that soon I will, because I would like to build a pretty good sized pond and then put the pitcher plants like on the outskirts, on the outer edges of the pond, so that way the roots will still stay moist and I don't have to worry about them drying out and I'll have a big huge pond to enjoy because I feel like that would be more close to like their natural environment where it'd be kind of marshy and they'd be on like the outskirts of the water growing up by the sides. And I think it's fun and it's interesting and I'm really glad that so far my plants are thriving and my fish are thriving in there. I've got three different plants going in there. I have, I have duckweed, which is fantastic. It's sucking out nutrients and growing like crazy. And it gives my guppies cover so that birds and things that are flying around, because we have a lot of birds in my area, don't necessarily notice that the fish are in there because none of my fish have disappeared or gone missing. In fact, they've actually been breeding and I've noticed baby guppies in the water. Um, but I don't know if you can actually see them in it, but they're actually pretty hard to see um, unless you're like right up with your face practically in the water. And then I have some anacharis in there, which is another one that grows like a weed and really helps to suck out any nitrates in the water. 
and then I also have my hornwort, which is another plant that is great for giving cover. That way when they are breeding, the baby guppies have somewhere that they can easily hide and kind of grow before any of the other fish really notice them. That's been my kind of fun little project that I have going on outside. Like I said, I've had this experiment going for about two months now. I just went down to the store and got a couple dollars worth of feeder guppies. So it wasn't really very expensive. Um, the container was about like 10, I think it was $10 from Home Depot. And then of course I used conditioned clean water. They say that you need to use distilled water, but there I've had mixed things that I've seen online um, where they say that you can get away with tap water. Some say that you should never use tap water, that you should always use um, distilled water. So far I've been using, I have been using conditioned tap water um, and I haven't really run into any issues with my plants. My plants seem to be thriving, like I said, they're doing really well, they're forming a lot of new pitchers, they're growing like crazy in just two months, like 18 new pitchers. The plants, I got a really crazy good deal on these plants. They were only $10 each, which is just crazy for how large of plants that they were in the first place because I've seen plants for like that are like this big for 10 bucks for pitcher plants. Yeah. So my whole setup for my fish and the pitcher plants and the container was probably about $35 for the two um, algae eaters and then the guppies, the container and the pitcher plants. I already have a ton of aquatic plants so I just took trimmings from different aquatic plants that are considered like pond type plants where they are fast growing and kind of invasive. <laughs> kind of invasive, kind of fast growing because I figured those would be the best as far as to give them protection from predators, to give them protection from the elements, provide them with oxygen and to keep that water as free of nitrates as possible. I don't know, it's like I managed to create a little ecosystem. My plants are thriving, my fish are thriving and even breeding in there. The babies are even surviving without me really, I don't really interfere a lot. Like I don't feed these fish, I don't do anything. Like they nibble on the duckweed and they eat any of the insects that fall into the container. So it's kind of really interesting to see it all kind of come together and it's very, it seems so much more natural and my only real interference is doing a water change once a week on the container and adding water as needed. With them being outside there is a lot of evaporation going on in the container so I do have to add water as needed to keep the water in the container at a good level. So it's funny though because I have, some of my fish tanks I have spent so much time and maintenance and effort and where I've spent hours and hours and hours every week working on these tanks inside and changing filter cartridges and cleaning the filter and cleaning the pump and running everything and yet here I have this container outside that's just totally thriving with all, like minimal effort. I don't even have to feed the fish. So I don't know, it's a very interesting little experiment that I've been, that I've been noticing how strangely well it's doing with such small amounts of effort and work. Of course, when you have indoor tanks, you're not gonna have insects flying in and feeding your fish for you and all that. So it's a whole different ball game taking care of fish inside versus outside. I just think it's interesting how little effort I have to put into my outdoor fish versus my indoor fish. So that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.